Hello, YouTubers. It's been a while since I did any videos, but uh, it's because of my health and also my internet sucks. And I can't keep using my mobile internet for things because I only get one card a month. So I'm on TikTok. I have several accounts on TikTok, so you know. And my main one I focus on is the one where I talk about my disabilities and everything and do positive stuff. So, I had some accounts follow me. Like, not follow follow, but they scan my account. So, because of copyright issues, there's music in one of my videos. I can't post it on YouTube or it'll get taken down. But, these are all part of a sex trafficking sting. Because all of them are private accounts. And then many other people follow them that range from men in their 20s, 40s, and also women. And some not even in our country. So they're sex traffickers. And they scan minors' accounts to see if they're a minor. And don't let your kid on TikTok anymore because these people can track your children's IP address in their phone and track where they're at even through GPS, through IP address, and also track them through Bluetooth, which you can. If people can hack a Bluetooth speaker, child's toy with a Bluetooth speaker, and talk through it, they can do that. And I was taught they could do that when I had a cop come to my school and tell me all this shit. Excuse my language, but... I looked at the other followers that were not private accounts, and I saw some creepy videos. One of a guy, one of a guy topless and dancing erotically, and then some of children smiling and stuff. So they take videos of children and put it on their accounts. And also, this is the one that really creeped me out. There was a video that said free candy. And there was children screaming in pain in the freaking background. And I have a screenshot of that video because I couldn't download it at the time. There's apps where you can download TikTok videos and post it somewhere else on Google Play Store. And I think these people are taking people's videos and doing that with children's videos. And I had a com commenter, a minor saying they're being stalked by all of these accounts, the private ones, and then they go to his account, and I think they're downloading stuff and putting it on the other people's accounts that are not private, that are women and stuff, and men and stuff. So, I saw even children following these people, too. So there is a sex trafficking sting ring, I mean, ring going on on TikTok. And I believe wholeheartedly TikTok needs to be taken down, needs to be sued big time. And they've been threatened of being sued by a person called Patriot Mama and IP and a person called IP Conflict, which are battling child sex trafficking right now. And TikTok goes after them like crazy. And when I posted videos about this on my account, they all got taken down for harassment and bullying. And I wasn't harassing and bullying. I was spreading awareness. So TikTok's in on the sex trafficking thing if they go after my videos over those accounts that I believe are sex trafficking. And some of these people are in other countries. I saw a language that's probably in Taiwan or in the Philippines on one person's account. There's many people from other countries following these accounts, these private accounts. And some of them say 18 plus up and say, follow my avatar, follow my link. And there was a link that led to a child pornography site called Hotlink. So they are sex trafficking children. So, don't let your kid on TikTok anymore. I'm just spreading this awareness. And I just came by this today. Near Memorial Day. They're taking advantage of Roe versus Wade being overturned.
And I predicted that this would happen, that sex traffickers would take advantage of it, and they apparently are. So please be aware, your child is in danger on TikTok now. Just to let you know, don't let them on TikTok anymore.